Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Portal back with another CFB 25 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over one of the most overlooked aspects of this game and how important it is to be doing this in dynasty mode before we get into the video as always guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell so you don't miss any uploads make sure you give this do a big thumbs up can we get 350 likes and if you liked it right now that'd be even better and of course guys if you haven't already head on down below to underdog my link will be down below in the description and the comments they are having a generational run as you call it right they are killing it with the content i've never seen anything like this it is so much fun both to play and win over there right i recommend Heading on down over there, making sure to use my code because not only does it support me, it also gives you guys much better bonuses than just signing up generically. I'm posting my picks on the YouTube community section as well as on Twitter all the time. So make sure you do follow me over there if you don't already. If you need any help signing up, let me know. The link's there. Everything else should be in place and have some fun. All right, guys, what you need to be focused on and what is so important are your coaching coordinators. I feel like this isn't talked about enough and I feel like see people are maybe approaching this wrong. So there's a few ways to approach a coordinator. You could have it match your head coach. You could have it be opposite of your head coach to spread the net, right? You could even have all three of them be opposites. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't think having all of them opposites is a good idea because bonuses stack. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, when you stack those bonuses, it's important. And why I'm going to say this is because I've seen this in my, my other leagues as well. People who try to spread the net too wide tend to fail in this game. And I mean, that might be uh, even in real life, right? When you try to do too much, you're never, it's like the jack of all trades. Being good at everything means you're great at nothing and if you're great at nothing you're not going to succeed and do something really well and in this game you really want to pick are you going to be a great developer are you going to be a great recruiter are you going to be a great you know tactician are you going to be strategic on game day so what i first recommend either do a custom coach or you can pick the head coach as long as it has what you'd like that's where i'd start pick a route what i really like is elite recruiter and motivator those are my two personally. I mean, there's some other great ones in architect and in talent developer, but personally, they're too expensive. I don't see a world where I can, I can actively go through these. Like, I don't want to just have the bonus on just quarterbacks. You know, I don't see a world where I can actively spend enough points on these unless you start a custom coach. I mean, even then, I think you want to focus on recruiter, motivator, program builder. I mean, if it comes with some stuff, but even that, I'm like, I think those are the two you want to focus on. What you want to be doing is making sure you grab certain coordinators. I feel like people just hire coordinators and don't focus. For also winning, boost your coordinator. I've had coordinators that were D's go up to A pluses in two seasons just by winning and succeeding. So you want to grow those coordinators, but when you get those boosts, oh my, are they crazy? So I recommend like when you go to recruit, make sure you have coord you hire coordinators that match what your coach has. So for me, on my coach, I got all of these up here up to I like to get them to about tier three. So on my, on my head coach, in my league, I got these all on tier three. So what I like to do from that point on is make sure I get recruiters that also have these unlocked or at least one row of them because when you have that you get the extra hours so people always ask how do you get 80 hours if you get all three recruiters or three coordinators on the tier three you get 80 hours for the position that is so unreal and so beneficial and you also get the elite recruiter stuff also when you get new coordinators start going for top five classes again you got to over recruit a little bit because if you have a new coordinator that doesn't have elite recruiter if you get a top five class two of them with him they will progress and get elite recruiter obviously eventually they'll leave but it is a good way to keep elite recruiter on your coordinators and then motivator so right here for instance just i like this coordinator that it comes with john boudreau he comes with some elite recruiter stuff right that first row awesome i love tiers one through i love tier one and two that's great and then he comes with this build him up a little bit he'll start unlocking more of the tier three stuff then he comes with some motivator stuff awesome gives me some boost cool with that then our defensive coordinator has tactician and recruiter so he's the kind of guy that i'm not too interested in this is good and all but i don't like that so what i'd like to do is what you want to do really is when you get to the off season start looking at some recruits so i'm going to go through and see what coordinators have certain recruiting packages that i want i believe the main focus that you should be going for is trying to maximize what you're trying to do so for me recruiting and player development i'll figure out the rest so that's where i stand is where you want to get those if you have if you have double off-season training boost, your players are going to grow that much faster. If you have get drafted early and get bonus boost, you're going to get growing that much faster. If you have better hours, double elite recruiter, you're going to be both a menace on the recruiting trail and then your recruits are going to grow. That's what I think the game should be about, right? Getting recruits and growing them. So I want to get guys that are maxed in both those directions. So I'm going to sim towards the end here and try to start going through the coaching carousel and show you guys kind of what it looks like. So as we sim through a bunch and we, we started picking new coordinators, as you see, John Boudreaux through a bunch of sims ends up growing in his field, which was motivator and, and recruiter. So this is my point of if you keep winning, these coordinators become more elite. So what you really want to do is when you pick your new coordinator, 
pick something that skews in your direction. So for instance, this other coordinator I picked is a C, but he skews in recruiter heavily, then he skews in motivator, then lastly, tactician. I would prefer no tactician, but again, you have to take what you can get, but make sure at least you set them up on the path to success. Look at these recruiting tabs. They are basically maxed all the way on top, basically maxed, which means you're gonna get the hours boost for this guy. Not to mention you already had it. So now you're at 80 hours for some positions. And more importantly, one more top recruiting class and I'll get him to elite recruiter. Then he'll start unlocking that. And also he's growing his motivator. And if you look at his motivator, look how good this is. Three to four for all of defense. Well, well and, and special teams a little bit, right? But that right there is so important to me. You do not want to be just blindly picking coordinators based on level. I see people doing that. I got a level 30 coordinator. I got a level 26 coordinator. But they specialize in tactician and strategist, right? Like you don't want that. That's not something you're looking for when getting a coordinator. Make sure they boost what you do. So for me, I'm a heavy. This is the coach I, I started with, right? So I'm a heavy recruiter. I obviously didn't want tactician, but I'm a heavy recruiter and I got some motivator going on, right? So we got a little bit here and heavy recruiter. So I want a guy that's going to compliment me. Why? Because if you have a guy that just does the opposite of what you do, it's not going to be that beneficial in my opinion, because other coaches are going to be doubling up on packages. You're going to not end up winning recruits. You're going to not end up growing, pe outgrowing people. So that's where I stand. You want to be making sure you focus on the coordinators you're hiring. It doesn't matter if they're a D or an F. If they have a recruiting and motivator tree or a tree that you're looking for, if you want to be growing motivator and an architect for your coordinators, that's fine. But make sure they lean in the direction that you're trying to grow because that's also the direction they're going to grow in. As you see each season, this guy's gotten better at recruiting and motivating. And this as well should be the same concept, recruiting and motivating. And I'm recruiting and motivating for the most part, right? So that's where I stand, which basically means I'm going to grow players at a very quick rate. It's going to be very beneficial. I'm also going to bring in top tier talent so my top tier talent can grow. That's where I think you should stand. Do not just be blindly hiring coordinators. I've seen it far too often. People just hire based on level and they don't really look and you can view their trees when you're hiring. Make sure you check their trees out. Make sure you offer guys who compliment what you're trying to do. And don't care if they're a D, because like I said, they will grow. Just win, win games. This guy's come a long way, oh, a little bit, right? My other D coordinator that I had prior to this in my online league, my other league, in that league with this D coordinator, I had like a C, D guy. He went up to A plus and then got hired as a head coach. So then I got, I brought in Pope, right? Same concept that I bring in a guy like Pope and then they start to grow again back up to an A plus. So that's fine. Just make sure you get them in the right direction. Do not blindly hire coordinators and understand how, how important it is. Because if you come over here and look at this, look at recruiting for certain spots. If I come down, let's see what's a position where I can get 80 at. 75 on right ends, 80 on tight ends. I have 80 on tight ends. I have 80 on wide receivers. I have 80 right there on wide receivers. I have 75 on quarterbacks. And I have 80 on halfbacks. That is the benefit of getting coordinators that complement what you're trying to do and what you already have. If you don't do this, you'll end up with 50 to 60 on all your recruits. You'll end up with players that don't grow that quickly. And you might end up with some game day boosts, which I don't really care for to begin with. So make sure you are complimenting your coordinators if you have any questions about coordinators, comment down below. I feel like coordinators are something that haven't been talked about too much. It's mainly been like head coach videos. Coordinators are honestly more important. Because think about it. Your head coach is only one guy. Your coordinator also gets boost and your third. And it's not like they get lesser boost. They get the same packages you get. So honestly, a coach that's level two with two coordinators that are A pluses will be far more impactful than your coach. Two coordinators with recruiting will be far more impactful than your own recruiting. So it is so important that you get these coordinator hires, right? You build them, you try to secure them, make sure they stay if you can. And just honestly, make sure you're doing this right. Because if you do this the right way, it, it helps you out so much. Coming into the season, I had not been able to recruit offense. My offensive packages, all I had was on my head coach. I get these two coordinators, he upgrades and the other one I hire. And now I have 80 and 75. I'm killing it in the offensive recruiting game. So make sure you do, you do focus on that. Make sure you're doing it right. If you guys have any questions about coordinators, like I said, comment them down below. What packages, what to do, how, how to maximize. Let me know down below. This game's always changing. They've made some updates recently that have changed how the game plays. So could they update this? Could they lower boost? Could they increase them? Possibly. Will that be for next year's game? Possibly. But understand now, is there a world where you have a lot of recruiting on your offensive coordinator and your defense and your coach, but you have no motivator at all? So then maybe you choose a coach that has motivator and like architect. You can do that. If you have enough recruiting on your first two, that's fine. You don't need them on all three. Like I said, all three is pretty OP. That's where I like to lean. But if you have absolutely no motivator on either of your guys and you need some, that's not a bad idea either. So it still kind of tends in the same way. You have double recruiting, so get the motivator. But if you have, but I wouldn't just go off track and get like strategist as your third guy. Like I would go in that realm of trying to complement both, right? Because that's basically what these are. And you can't max out a coach. As, as seen, level 50 is the max. You cannot get everything. You kind of have to, I like to call it like, it's almost like 2K, right? Like 
a three and D guy, a shooter, a driver, and a dunker. Like you want to be going for something that complements it. And I, I, I think those are the two that you want to be trying to max. And if you're going to maximize anything else, like I said, maybe like the architect ones, but they're too expensive in my opinion. So maybe if a coordinator comes with those packages, it's, it's nice. It's nice because you don't have to pay for them, but it's tough. So yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you did enjoy. When you use the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Can we get 500 likes on this video? Like the video if you made it this far and make sure to check out Underdog. Use code Poodle so you do not miss out on your bonuses. I'm out. Peace.